to my channel, Coin Lady, and thank you for returning. People interested in the Bitcoin sector are paying attention to the United States Securities and Exchange Commission since they are currently facing yet another legal setback. Many who were against the proposal applauded the judge's decision that he or she would not allow them to regulate corporate cybersecurity. Among the many who have openly criticized Gary Genter, chair of the Securities and Exchange Commission, is James Murphy, better known as Metal Mom on AIX. This is happening at the same time as the ongoing case against XRP, which largely concerns the actions done by the SEC. The ongoing litigation regarding XRP has the cryptocurrency community responding to the conference and past judicial defeats experienced by the United States Securities and Exchange Commission. To put this in context, the SEC just suffered a crushing defeat in its case against SolarWinds, a failure that will have far-reaching consequences for the SEC. When the Securities and Exchange Commission sought to oversee companies' cybersecurity procedures, a federal judge rejected their request. Public companies' internal controls are something that the Securities and Exchange Commission insists should be regulated. The United States District Court's Judge Paul Lay Angel Mayer rejected this argument on the grounds that it would grant the SEC too much regulatory power. At the same time, Judge Meyer's decision highlighted the SEC's overreaching powers. According to T, the SEC might regulate things like water park safety measures, background checks, storage padlocks, and password sets if their argument were accepted. In his ruling, the judge emphasized that the SEC's power should remain limited to financial controls and not encompass all internal methods. A lot of companies' fears about regulatory repercussions after hacking have been allayed by this decision. An assault on solar winds in 2020 was the impetus for the complaint. In this assault, Russian hackers penetrated the software of a corporation and obtained access to government agencies and well-known IT companies. Also, the judge did not buy the SCC's claim that solar winds had inadvertently revealed how serious the breach was while they were investigating. In view of the ongoing litigation involving XRP, the Ripple community is paying close attention to the SEC's most recent losses. Famous SEC critic and attorney James Murphy voiced his disapproval of X. Murphy's argument that the agency's repeated losses should prompt Congress to re-evaluate financing for SEC initiatives spearheaded by Gary Gensler against American corporations. Many in the XRP community have long been critical of the SEC's regulatory approach, and Murphy's criticism is hitting home with them at the moment. Remarkably, XRP's lawsuit has been in the news recently, with many people making assumptions about the case's result and potential settlement. There are those who think we'll get a resolution soon. There are many who think a settlement is quite unlikely. Lead executive at Ripple, the Brad Garland House is hopeful that the lawsuit will be settled soon. Nevertheless, he has failed to provide a specific deadline for the conclusion of the conflict in the continuing disagreement between Ripple and SEC. The recent loss in the SolarWinds case has shed light on the challenges faced by the SEC in enforcing its regulatory agenda. The power and approach to cybersecurity regulation of the Securities and Exchange Commission are also under intense scrutiny. As the XRP litigation progresses, the strategies and leadership of the SEC, especially under Gary Gensler, remain important points of discussion. One of the reasons for the increase in the price of XRP, one of the most successful cryptocurrencies over the past month, despite the cancellation of a meeting of top SEC officials that was supposed to take place yesterday behind closed doors, is that the meeting was postponed. It has allayed those fears and is once again trading profitably. We previously reported that the meeting was scheduled to take place on Thursday by the Securities and Exchange Commission (SEC). However, contrary to what some in the company have said, the meeting was not advertised as being between the SEC and Ripple. At the meeting, the top securities regulator is expected to address several important matters pertaining to the cryptocurrency industry. These include the Ethereum exchange traded funds that Nance banned, the Ripple's lawsuit, the resolution of litigation claims, and the institution and settlement of injunctive actions. The price of XRP hit a new high of 635 cents the day before the meeting, the highest it has been since March ended. Going back to July 8. The token's value has surged by almost 50 percent. 
Starting at $4,198, it climbed to a new local record. Meanwhile, the SEC requested yesterday that the meeting be rescheduled to a private meeting, prompting speculation about how it may affect the ongoing Ripple case, as announced on the SEC's website. Some in the cryptocurrency community took it as a sign that the long-running legal battle was making headway, but prominent XRP attorney Bill Morgan wasted no time trying to dispel that notion. Speculation about the forthcoming SEC conference is put to rest by an attorney representing XR. The U.S. government has rescheduled a meeting from July 18 to Thursday, July 25, according to the Securities and Exchange Commission. This news has sparked speculation in the cryptocurrency community, especially among individuals keeping tabs on the current case with the Securities and Exchange Commission. As a result, three main points were brought to light for the private meeting. Issues pertaining to examinations and enforcement measures, as well as the creation and settlement of administrative proceedings and claims in lawsuits, fall under this category. Some people questioned the announcements. Significance because it was highlighted right at the beginning of the release, which dealt with the settlement of administrative proceedings. With this most recent development in the Ripple XRP instance in mind, there was rising speculation that this meeting could signal the end of the protracted dispute between Ripple and SEC, but attorney Bill Morgan put an end to such rumors by making it plain that the meeting had nothing to do with that case. Keeping in mind that the Ripple case began in 2020 and is still ongoing. In anticipation of more developments, the cryptocurrency community has been closely monitoring the I.O. However, Morgan's statement appears to have dashed any expectations that this particular SEC meeting may lead to a settlement to the high-profile legal issue. No new details have surfaced on the dismissal of the Ripple's lawsuit settlement rumors. If you believe Mark Fiegel, a former SEC attorney, who has spoken out against these claims, you would be correct in thinking that the parties are idly waiting for the district court to rule on the remedy side of the matter before pursuing a resolution. Thank you for watching my channel and for subscribing. I'll see you later.